Happy Friday and first day of December, everyone. It looks like the everything rally in November for stocks, bonds, and crypto is continuing in the first day of December. Jerome Powell made an economic speech today, and he pretty much said that he doesn't want to keep rate hikes off the table if inflation reaccelerates. And he also said that it's too premature to talk about cutting rates, but the market really didn't believe him. Bond yields fell. And the stock market continued to rally um, after his speech. Um, there were some other things he was saying in his speech that um, he's noticing that inflation is declining and economic activity is declining. So the market probably reacted well to Jerome Powell acknowledging that. Uh, but markets really accelerated at the end of the speech. Bond yields fell about 10 basis points from this speech to a level of about 4.23%. And oil, despite OPEC's additional uh, 1 million barrels of oil day production cuts, uh, oil is still having trouble uh, going above $80 a barrel and is hovering around the $74 a barrel range. This really shows that the markets really aren't believing uh, the Federal Reserve right now. The markets did this a few other times uh, last year and into earlier this year, and the Fed proved pretty resilient in their fight against inflation in terms of keeping rates higher for longer. Uh, honestly, I still don't think that the Fed will cut rates until the second half of next year. I don't really see um, the Fed wanting to do that before then. That is obviously unless something breaks in the economy, then they'll have to. But if um, economic growth still stays this resilient and inflation um, stays within the 2 to 3% range, I think the Fed will still be happy keeping rates as they are. Bill Ackman had a good argument that the real rates uh, will be higher if the Fed keeps rates as is while inflation goes down. That's true, but I think the Fed will ultimately need to address that really in the second half of next year. Uh, Eurozone inflation fell more than expected, putting uh, European Central Bank rate cuts into view. Um, we also have uh, the Fed Beige Book uh, in the U.S. That came out, which pretty much shows regional activity. And although it shows that uh, certain regions had some uh, economic growth, um, there were a couple regions that were about that were neutral, that were pretty much saying, although some things are growing, other things are slowing. And there were the majority of districts actually uh, showed that there's some economic um, deceleration and then declining growth. And I think that's partly why the Federal Reserve is giving more of a neutral stance, um, considering they're really observing um, the deceleration in growth in the economy, as well as uh, lower inflation. Um, it looks like they're changing their tune now because they're really seeing this more now as compared to their last meeting. And then I also wanted to touch uh, quickly on crypto. Uh, State Street uh, just published a note that they think Ethereum, the price of Ethereum, which is the second largest cryptocurrency will hit 28,000 if a big, if a, I'm sorry, if an Ethereum uh, spot ETF by BlackRock is approved, which would make flow institutional money into Ethereum as well. Right now, Ethereum's about a little over $2,000. So uh, that's a 14X on Ethereum's price. I think Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin in this cycle. Um, Bitcoin should do very well, don't get me wrong. But um, I think Ethereum will do even better. And then um, some more good news is that the SEC met with Grayscale uh, for a second time about their spot Bitcoin ETF application or converting their Grayscale Bitcoin trust into a spot Bitcoin ETF. And then um, the SEC also met with uh, BlackRock as well. And um, I think it's good news of the continued back and forth between these um, ETF issuers and the SEC. It looks like they're finally now trying to really iron out any differences and small details so that hopefully these ETFs can get approved uh, in January.